Hello everyone, welcome to my first Power BI tutorial. Today, we are going to design this. Let's get started. Go to the Visualizations pane, and click on Format. Change the page background color, and reduce the transparency to 0%. Then, expand wallpaper, and change its color. To create our navigation panel, we need to insert a rectangle shape. Then, change the line weight to 0, and turn off the fill. To apply color, turn on the background shape. Keep the color white, but reduce the transparency to 0%. Then, go to General, and change the position, width, and height. Now, let's divide the navigation panel. Insert a button from the Home toolbar, and then copy, and paste it, 11 times. To control our new elements, go to View, and check mark the selection pane. From there, we'll select all buttons by pressing Ctrl, and clicking on each button. Then, drag all buttons to the middle of your workspace. While keeping all buttons selected, go to the Visualizations pane. Here, turn off the button icon and outline. Then, turn on, the button fill, and, change the fill color. Now, let's change their width, and height. Great. Now all buttons have the same size and color. From the selection pane, select the last button. Go to Format, and align it to left, and up. Then, select your first button, and align it to the left, and bottom. It's time to distribute all buttons. Select all buttons from the selection pane, one by one. But, don't forget to keep the control key pressed. Align to left, and distribute vertically. Now, let's import our icons into our workspace. By the way, make sure to use black icons with transparent background, in PNG format. Select all icons from the selection pane, and change their width, and height. Then, move the icons to the middle of the workspace. Next, select the first icon we imported. And change the X position to 7, and Y position to 187. Now, select the last icon, and change its position also. By selecting all icons from the selection pane first, then align to left, and distributing vertically. This will help us to distribute our icons properly. When ready, click on the workplace to deselect. Click on the first icon in our navigation area to select the button. Then, copy and paste a duplicate. Select the duplicated button, and bring it to the second last place in our selection pane. Now, with the duplicated button still selected, go to the Visualizations pane. Change the fill color to black, 
with 85% transparency. When complete, this new button will act as the indicator, showing users the current page they are viewing. Now, Let's select the button that is in front, remembering to keep control key pressed to select both buttons. Align them to left, and up. Perfect. Now we have our indicator in place. OK. Let's continue. Select the first icon button, then, go to the visualization pane, and Change the color fill to white, with 100% transparency. Now, let's change the status to on hover. Keeping the same color, but reduce the transparency to 50%. On press, will stay intact. Keeping the control key pressed, select the next 5 buttons, one by one. Then, change the color fill to white, with 20% transparency. Change the status to, on hover, keeping the same color, but this time, increase the transparency to 100%. Finally, change the status to, on press, and change the fill color, while keeping transparency on 20%. We're almost there, only a few more steps and we'll be complete. Are you ready? To neutralize areas with no purpose, you can delete them, or select them and change their fill color to white, and transparency to 0%. OK. I've decided to use the first button in my navigation panel, to place my logo. So now, I am going to select it, and reduce the transparency to 0%. Then, I will import the white Power BI logo, and move it, all the way up, to keep it in front. Let's change its width and height first. and then its X and Y positions. Now we are going to add a Q and A button. Select the last button from our navigation panel, and turn on the button text. Change the font color to white. Then select, on hover status, and type Q and A. Select, on press, and type Q and A, also. Next, I will add an icon. Turn on, icon. Then select the Q and A shape. Reduce the padding to 1 pixel, and select the center horizontal alignment. Change the icon status to on hover. Select, blank. And then repeat the same step to on press. Let's change the fill color to black, and reduce the transparency to 0%. Now, for on hover, keep the same color and transparency. But for on press, change the fill color to blue. Congratulations! Our navigation area, is ready. Now, we will duplicate our page to keep my design and elements in place and use the duplicate page for the next step. But, change the name of the duplicate page. Next, select the first icon button, and select Format Painter from the Home Toolbar. Apply the format to the second icon button. Select the third icon button, and apply the format to the first one. Go to the Selection pane. Select the second last place element in the selection pane, keeping the control key pressed. Then, select the second icon button, go to format, and align bottom. Our page indicator is now in the second icon. Finally, let's apply some bookmarks. Go to view. Uncheck selection pane. And check mark the bookmarks pane. 
Then, go to Bookmarks pane, and, add a bookmark. Rename it, as Page 2. Select the page, 1. Add a new bookmark. Rename it as page, 1. To link our bookmarks with the buttons, select the second icon from page 1, and go to, the visualizations pane. Turn on actions. Select bookmark type, choose the bookmark named, page 2. Press Ctrl, and click on the second button to verify that it is working. From page 2, select the first icon button. Go to the Visualizations pane. Turn on, Actions, and select Bookmark Type. Choose the bookmark named, Page 1. We're done. We have successfully designed a navigation panel that will help us to move, from one page to another, easily, and in a very elegant way. Congratulations!